So you've had your first RV, now you're ready for an upgrade? Come on. Let me open this tempered tinted glass door and walk into the Keystone. I call them the boulets, Jeff, but I know they're the bullets. Jeff Wagner from Keystone joining me. Good to see you again, buddy. Good to see you. So tell me um, what we're in, and then I'm gonna set up how we're gonna go through this thing. What is this beauty? This is the Bullet Crossfire 1700 BH. Okay. And it was specifically designed for those entry level campers that want to go camping and not have to tow a heavy, you know, 35 right. foot RV. Um, and it is packed full of features. Yeah, because this one's only 3,500 pounds. And I think we're sitting at what, 21 feet? 21.5. 21, 21.5. 21, yeah, 24. 24 yeah, yeah, 24, 25, and 3,500. We'll sleep five easily with the oversized dinette, maybe six if it's kids. Sure. But explain to me, so a few years ago, RVs went haywire. The slideless bunk models, people went nuts for it, entry level. We're now in a fiberglass, aluminum superstructure, awesome upgraded experience. But everything that I've known with Bullet Crossfire, you guys have changed for 2024 to kind of hit that sweet spot of, I had my first RV, I'm ready for an upgrade. Absolutely. So there are zero sacrifices that you make when you upgrade to a bullet crossfire. Right. Um, from microwaves to two burner cooktops. And you can even see the abundance of storage that we have in here. You have three drawers in the kitchen and heavens, there's six wow. cabinet doors here for excessive storage. You also have a large, big <laughs> sink. Um, What's I mean, bigger, the sink or the fridge? <laughs> Good yeah. grief, man. So, and then you, then we equipped everything with this 10 cubic foot, 12 yeah. volt refrigerator. I love that. Um, so that you can obviously fit all of your camp, you know, your camping needs in there. And right. As a family, mm -hmm. you're going to have a, a need for a larger size refrigerator. It, I love that because with, with your first RV, chances are you probably got, you had a smaller countertop. You definitely had a smaller sink for sure. This is an oversized pot and pan sink. And I know you did not have this much countertop space, nor did you have the extended lip. So I, I'm a big fan of that. You nailed it with the storage because I'm not used to seeing yeah. this much storage. storage space and hideaway hinges too. Okay. So that I, I've said it so many times and the magnet clasps. So I, I don't have the bull nose. I'm a big fan of the magnet clasp because those bull nose will wear out over time. And a lot of times in transit too, you know, they'll kind of wear and get flat and it'll open up the magnets are gonna stay. Yeah. So that, that's a nice touch. Hideaway hinge is of course a nice touch too. Um, <laughs> Midnight Monterey. Yes. I, I think that's what, my, that's what my buddy Mike called it one time. <laughs> but I, I love the feature because it is a great blend of blue and gray and you got the kind of bronzed pulls. Uh, big fan of that. Um, oversized window. Yeah, all drawers. vented windows. Yeah. Um, obviously, you had mentioned the glass doors you came in. It mm -hmm. even has a shade on there. So oh. if you need the uh, the privacy at night, you can run the shade the up and thin, down. Yeah, the thin shade. Okay, I see the glass right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll pull that up as we head out. Another feature that I see right beside my command panel when I walk in is you guys gave us a tankless water heater. Absolutely. So you have endless hot water when you're taking a shower. Um, and, you know, like I said, there are zero sacrifices in here. Mm -hmm. It comes equipped with a, a full-size furnace. So you, whether you're camping in the spring or whether you're camping in the fall, yes. that extended season camping is no problem. Th that's what, so w when you got your first RV, chances are you, you got one that was pretty much similar size, 21 feet, uh, probably, you know, 3,500 pounds, could easily be towed by the family SUV, could sleep five, but you had a wall-mounted AC, you had maybe a fireplace to keep you warm. Now you, you like that style, you say, hey, the size is great, or your first RV, like you mentioned, entry level, but it's fiberglass. It's gonna last a little bit longer to the camping season because of the insulation. It's gonna, you know, I love the fiberglass flexibility, the weight, uh, and I got roof-mounted AC now, full-size furnace, bigger fridge. Uh, I got microwave mm -hmm. with not just a cooktop uh, and more storage, a little bit better features and amenities, but I'm still a stacked twin over twin back here. That's right. Tell, tell, tell me about the bunks. So you've got the two twin bunks back here with the teddy bear mattresses. So mm -hmm. you obviously have windows in both bunks. So mm -hmm. we didn't sacrifice any ventilation. You have outlets that are, are capable for both bunks as well as 12 volt uh, plugs. Oh, the inverse. Obviously, yeah. yeah. So if you have the, 
you know, obviously my family anyway, when I bought my first truck, they were mm -hmm. like, oh, look, there are 12 uh, USB outlets. So that's a very important <laughs> feature in <laughs> right. society. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. whether it's a phone, whether it's an iPad, whether it's an electronic device you need to charge, you have that capabilities, I like or that. you can use the 110 10 outlet. And so with, with this, what you guys are doing with these models, you have the solar flex prep. Correct. Okay, see, now that that is a feature that I like. Uh, solar Flex, Keystone came up with extremely innovative. Solar panels on top, you got the inverter, the whole thing, you could, and all the outlets were inverted, so you could run that off the power of the sun. Now, people have realized, well, yeah, that's great, but, but I, I, I don't really need it. Having the prep means I'm now coming down in that price point. I'm getting a little bit more flexible with where I can get my monthly payments to. And if I want to get it added on, I can. But it's absolutely, not, it's not everything right is wired, so you don't have to worry about pulling off panels to run wires. It's, there's a port on the roof. There's an inverter plug in the front. It's a plug and play system, and there are even six outlets inside of here that are prepped for an inverter. So if you did want to use a little bit of a, the off the grid camping, right. you can expand this to that. That's great. Jeff, you guys were thinking about it. You, you were thinking about it. You knew what was coming, so you were thinking about it. All right, well, let's check out the bathroom, and then we'll flip around and get the uh, the booth dinette. Absolutely. The, uh, oh, so, wow. Okay. Full-size shower. The tub surrounds. So Come you on, have right. the, You have the plastic tub here. surround in here, so you don't have to worry about the water spraying on the wall. Yeah. You also have the full-size medicine cabinet storage underneath the, the, uh, the lab here. And you do have a lab inside the bathroom. It's one of those small things, but right. it's super important to us. Yep. You can have that proper hygiene and, and uh, you have an extra sink if you do need it for the for the kids to get cleaned up. Which is one of those features that when people got their first RV or were looking at it, they, they didn't really think about because it was like, oh, I got to come out of the bathroom to wash my hands or brush my teeth. Correct. So yeah, I, I totally dig that. Now, the one thing that I do love that you did I've seen some like models do a jackknife sofa over here against the wall. We got ourselves a full booth dinette. I got the pleated shade, wood balance. I got an inverted outlet there, and you even gave me a TV up top. Yeah, TV comes standard with every one of these uh, these 1700 VHs. Wow. So you got extra storage beside the TV. Mm -hmm. And a, one of the little things I know, but it's one of those things that you learn after you own your first time camper, every single window in this unit is oh, vental, yes. ventilated. So you can get those nice cross breezes if you're at the beach and we have the nice pleated shades to add for add to that privacy. Let me tell you, he's, Jeff nailed it right there because you don't know how important it is at night to have that cross breeze sometimes. Or more importantly, if you're cooking something and people are in here to have that airflow. That is that, that was an extremely smart thought. Uh, the other thing I really like is what you did over here with the front cap, the master, you enclosed. I got myself a ward storage over here. I still got a nightstand space underneath. So I got a CPAP machine uh, and, and mine's that little air sense. Mm -hmm. So it's only, you know, it's only about that big. So, that, so that'll fit under there. I like how I have space there, but you got doors that open up versus just a shelf. Sure. So once again, if I'm in transit and I need the space and I need to secure it, I got a door that's gonna keep it there. I really like that. Wow. Yeah, so you have the aluminum bed frame and all that opens up for storage underneath there. And it's 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 um, uh, not part of your pass-through. This is inside storage that right. you, can, you can access from it's the It's secure. Inside. The other thing, I gotta tell you, man, when I sat down on the booth dinette, look at this. That, it seems like every year you guys get a little bit more plush with these cushions. And of course I got storage underneath which you know, is, is pretty standard. This does reduce down into a sleeper. Um, <clears throat> and I've had people ask a lot of times whenever we're going through RVs, they're like, can two people sleep on the booth dinette? I, I always say no, unless it's, it's smaller like kids or something yeah. like that. Or you, you like to crunch up and spoon and, and, and we, we, we won't do the big little spoon demonstration <laughs> for. <laughs> but... <laughs> This does reduce down and it is a good sleeping space. It's 72 inches across, so it's not like a full, uh, you know, like a full bed size. But if you're okay crumping up a little bit, it's not a bad night's sleep. No, it's, I, I always say it's one adult or two kids. Yeah, one adult, Absolutely. yeah, yeah, one adult or two kids. So that's fantastic. Uh, for the family's first camper, I'm looking for a little bit of an upgraded experience without breaking the bank. I think you nailed it right here with the Bullet 1700 BH. Let's go take a look outside and see what we got out there. Right on. All right.
I mean, it, I think, I know that the, that the tankless water heaters a couple of years ago, Jeff, were, were really popular. Um, I love the fact that we have those. For entry level, to bring them into entry level now, I think is just, just huge. Yeah, it's absolutely, oh, I did mention, look at that, this is what Jeff was talking about with that shade. I am a big fan of this, man. Yeah, if you wanna cut that morning sun or you need yeah. that additional privacy, it really is nice and it's included in every one. The, but the thing that makes it even cooler, tempered glass. I know. Okay, so let me, let me kind of gloat on the G-Class tempered glass right here. Not only does this look cool, it gives you true privacy mm -hmm. uh, and it is tempered glass. It's going to help keep that RV just a little bit cooler as well. Oversized grab handle here, steel step over steps. We do have the enclosed underbelly out here. Sealed safety windows with the tent on them all the way around. And we got the Dexter Easy Lubes there. Zero sacrifices, it comes yeah. with the four stabilizer jack. So when you're camping, it gives you that added stability, not a lot of rocking inside. You put front steps. That's correct, they're included front okay. and back. Let me tell you, that's, that's actually important because usually, well, it, with entry level models, especially when you're talking about under 22 feet, you're usually only gonna have stabilization thanks to the tongue jack up front. Um, having the front stab jacks is just a little bit more stability, a little bit more security. And right here, I like how you finished off the pass through storage for me as well. There's a really good shot of that aluminum superstructure and you got the continuation of that nice pattern in the front cap yep. down here in the storage. And instead of being just a plastic clasp, I love how you gave me the magnetic clip. Yep, the magnetic clasp. with the secure latch. Yep, with yep. the secure latch, I love that. And covered hinge. This is, this is one that a lot of people, believe it or not, don't think about. It, but having the covered hinge means when it rains, that exposed metal isn't gonna rust and then all of a sudden you get those streaks down your beautiful fiberglass sided RV. So that's, that's a nice little feature there. Rear stab jacks, inverted outlet here. Yep. Okay, what else we got Comes on this Comes complete view? with a spare tire on the rear wall. Okay. Has the camera ready prep right up here. So whether you want a Furion camera, a Voyager <clears throat> camera, whatever your camera choice is, it's completely hot wired and ready to go up there. Nice. Um, sewer ho hose storage right here, loaded like in the, the back plate. Yep. Just undo this and you've got a nice tube here to store that. Got, um, got another nice little storage spot here. Little extra storage. Yeah. We didn't, uh, we didn't uh, skimp on the power cord. It is a detachable power cord. Okay. Um, versus the pull out. Yep, yep I like that. Versus the pull out. Yep. Back of my hot water heater, my tankless hot water heater. There's my windows There's for my bunk. bunk. I like that. And my terminations being down here. Now the thing I like about what Bullet does with the Crossfire, you guys give a little bit bigger tank capacity on that, on that fresh tank, uh -huh. 54 gallon. And then you got dual 30s on your gray and black. I love that because, and usually in this price point, in this in this entry level, you get 20, sure. you get 20 gallon fresh. And with a tankless hot water heater, that 20 gallon goes quick. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it absolutely does. Especially we're, we're designing this for a family. So yeah. we know you need that expanded capacity. Yeah. Fresh water, city water, other side of the pass through. And right here is gonna be my info panel. Uh, and yeah, and having that, having that tank capacity means you could probably get all the bars of, you know, Bohemian Rhapsody in the shower when you're seeing this. So that's, that's a good thing, you have to cut it short. Or in a got a DeVito with the drum solo. Now, right here, the unloaded weight on this one, 3,500 pounds, gross vehicle weight, 4,825. I'm still under 4,900 pounds gross, which you never Absolutely. want to fully load an RV anyway. Uh, come up front, I got my tongue jack, my 20 pound LP tank, uh, Zamp Quick Connect, which I, I highly recommend to anybody. It helps trickle charge those batteries. The Quick Connect's there, because you never know. Even if you get the Solar Flex added on, having the, the briefcase really helps out. And you got the C-Flow battery disconnect, so if I want to keep the trickle charge on my batteries, but cut the power off. Absolutely, it's, it's really important when you put it in storage to kill those batteries so you don't have yeah. that slow drain of the batteries. Yeah, so. yeah, because they, they, they will drain, even yeah. lithium. So, yeah. not Quick as fast, convenient. but yep. yeah. And you got the uh, one piece just looks nice and clean man yeah so, it's got the aluminum front skin on it so it's it's nice and clean and and sleek looking if you I, I can't really tell where you guys skipped well here we didn't i mean it has yeah. every feature that again if you want to go camping and yeah. you want it at an affordable price sure the bullet crossfire is a great right right i, I mean yeah, proposition. yeah no, i'm not sure I, I don't have power tongue jack on power stabilizer jacks but at the end of the day once again for that price point, for that comfort level, mm -hmm. it's one of those things where, okay, I have the option. Sure. I don't need it. This gets me where I want to be and gets me camping. I love that. It's an affordable that. price point for, for every family. Okay. 
21 feet, four inches, 3,500 pounds, can sleep five comfortably. Six if you six, need six, yeah, if six you like if you each need other. It. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> six if, if you know how to do the big spoon, little spoon. But if you got kids or even teenagers, that's the booth dinette is still fine. Yep. And the best part about it is if you're thinking, okay, this is one that we need to take home, you can pick up the Bullet Crossfire 1700 BH today at your local Camping World. But I got Jeff Wagner right here. If you're thinking, we like this, can we change this? Can we add this? Can we can we take away that? The best thing about the way we work with the manufacturers, if you have suggestions, things you like, things you don't like, leave us some comments down below. We'll pass them right along. They love feedback and they react on that feedback. So while you're at it, please click like, subscribe and notify. And the next time we do one of these, you'll be the first one to get it. Jeff, thank you so much for showing us this you're 1700 BH, my man. It's good Appreciate seeing your you. time. And we'll you see bet. you soon. Take care.